Hello, <clears throat> I'm trying to start with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I, later video will be started. I would like to know your level two. 
And I want to know your name, why you join pre IGCSE, no? what's your ambition, something like that. All right. First of all, that's who, um, right? That's who, will you please start? Can you introduce yourself? My name is Tasua. Which grade are you in? I am in grade 10. Mm -hmm. Which subject would you like to join when you, when you attend university? Business, engineering, something like that. You haven't decided which subject you are going to take. Are you interested in ma uh, medicine or engineering, business? Your future studies. You haven't decided it yet? Uh, no, I have decided. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yes. Bye. Uh, my name is Aung San Bai. Uh, I'm in grade eight. Uh, Will you please raise your voice? Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, my name is Aung San Bai. I'm from grade eight, and in the future, eight, nine, okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, mm -hmm. I wait. Wait, isn't that it? Would you like to talk about your stuff briefly? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm 13 years old and uh, Are you from Yango, by the way? Uh, yes, yeah, I'm Yango. Mm. Which grade you finished? I should. Can you repeat that? Which grade? Grade uh, eight, grade, grade nine, eight. or grade eight? All right. Okay, next one. Yes, uh, this is our flight. Either. Will you please introduce yourself? Hello guys, my name is Ida Alain, but my friend called me Vanessa. You can call me also Vanessa. And I'm 14 years old. I live in Mandalay. Oh, you are from Mandalay? Yes. Demia Paul. Uh, yeah, I, I'm Demia Paul, and you, you can call me Kevin. And I, I'm great, great. I have, I finished uh, great six and then uh, I'm 13 years. And uh, my future ambition is uh, programming more, yeah. Kevin, right. Oh, by the way, Itara, uh, you are your nickname, the other name? Uh, Vanessa. Vanessa. How about Sinai Niu? My name is Sinai Miu. I'm on grade eight. I live in Miao Miao. I have an elder sister. Her name is Ning Sinai. Oh, okay.
Could you please tell me your ambition? What do you want to be? Mm -hmm. I want to become an engineer. Oh, you are interested in engineering. Yes, Sudwe. Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Miss Sudwe, but you can call me Hazel or Tileta. He's also my name. And I'm in grade six, oh, no, eight, <laughs> sorry. And there are so many reasons why I want to try pre GCSE, but the biggest reason is um, I want to got into Harvard. So that's why. And uh, I have, well, I'm interested in so many fields, but uh, I want to major uh, neurology, psychology, or politics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you please repeat your name? Yeah, you can call me Hazel or Dileta. It's spelled D I L L E T T A. D I L L E T T A. Dileta. Yeah. Is it? Or yeah. Uh, who else? Who <clears throat> yeah, Okay, so I'm Su Yeti Tai, but you can just call me Freya, F R E Y A. And I'm from Yango, and basically, I want to like uh, have a major in business or maybe IT. I'm not sure yet, but I think mm -hmm. I'll choose business. All right, nice to meet you all. And um, these days, I want to start with global English. All right. Later, I will go to Chapwai. So first of all, I want to go directly to global English book, a course book, course book. It takes time to upload the file. So I, I want you to look at the book. So the title is, the, for unit one, the title is Languages of the World. And in this unit, you are going to study the languages you speak, the languages of uh, Papua New Guinea, Guinea, and the advantages of knowing languages. I want to focus on the advantages of knowing languages, the good points of knowing languages. Uh, teacher. Uh, could you please tell me some benefits of knowing languages? Yeah, yeah, tell me. What do you want to say? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, can I have the PDF file for that? I don't know. Uh, could you please say again? You uh, want teacher, what? Could I have that PDF file? I don't have it. You, you, you want... Don't you have... Hard copy book. Uh, I don't have the hard copy yet. Oh, I see what you mean. What should I do? I have it. Oh, uh, how can uh, you get it? You can just put. You can just send it in Zoom. In the Zoom chat, chat you can send the PDF file.
you have Viber? By the way, can you use Viber now? Can you use Viber? Ah uh, yes, yeah, I can use Viber. I prefer Viber. Right? Uh, which way is better? But yeah, my phone number is this. Uh, look at can can you invite me? My number. Wait, I will keep you. Quickly, quickly. Time yet. Time yet, you. Is it yours? Uh, yes, sir. Mm. Later, okay. standing now. Before the time being, please look at the share screen. Okay. Can you think of the advantages of knowing languages? Um, Vanessa, can you tell me one benefit of knowing languages? Tell me about, tell me your ideas. Hello, can you hear me? Vanessa? Yeah. Yes, I yeah. stay, thank you. Are you, 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 who wants to start? We are discussing the, the advantages of knowing languages. The benefits yeah, of start. knowing. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, it makes uh, knowing languages and many languages make us one step closer to the real world. And also we won't need a translator or someone who translates to another languages. So the, I think these are benefits of learning languages and knowing languages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. How about Kevin? Uh, any, I think, any idea? I, I think we could improve our communication. Mm -hmm. How about the letter? Yeah, the letter is me, yeah. Oh, Vanessa, Vanessa. Vanessa. Yes. How about Su Yitong? Su you did you didn't introduce yourself, right? I didn't ask you. Yeah, sorry. I just saw you. Yeah. Can you tell me about yourself first? Um, hi, my name is Su Yitong and I'm 15 years old and I live in Minjang. And um, 
in the future, I want to be a doctor and not because I'm a little bit interested in medical. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you tell me about the advantages of knowing languages? I think um, when we visit to their country, it's more easier to communicate and more easier to travel when we know their language. Okay. How about Suyati? Can you give me your ideas, some benefits of knowing languages? Uh, maybe uh, sometimes when you like, how can I say? When you go to somewhere uh, like that your parents don't really know or like your parents don't really understand the language, uh, you don't really need to pay for someone or like to translate the language. You can just like do it for them. Who may in Russian? Hello. Hello. You are Suyati and Sume in Russian. Not the same, right? No. 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 Oh, so you didn't introduce yourself to. Okay, Sume in Russian. My name is Sume in Russian. And I'm 13 years old. I'm from Pate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so could you please tell me some advantages of knowing languages? Uh, I think we can communicate with other people who don't know our languages and also when we travel to to somewhere we can and also when we travel to somewhere it is more easier to communicate and it is a good thing that we know their languages and can see their languages. Okay. Interesting. So go farther down. Uh our term pie. It the pie is being sent. Wait a minute, okay? Oh I'm not sure why. It takes time. Now we will go to next part. My language, your language. How many languages can you name? Where are they spoken? Uh, it is too wide, so I will I will narrow down. And um, could you please tell me the most common languages? Yeah, in. Uh, which languages are being learned these days? English. English. And what else? Korean or Chinese? Yeah, Chinese, Korean. Chinese. Singapore. Chinese, yeah. What else? Mandarin. Mandarin. Chinese, right? Sort of Chinese. What else? Uh, uh, Spanish. Italian, Italian, yeah. Uh, German, German, German yeah. German, German. It is also um the common language yes. these days. Yeah, all right. French, yes. French. Yeah. French. Also Arabic. Arabic, sort of yeah. Arabic in in Asia it is not widely used. <laughs> yeah, but it is also included in the common language. All right, and next one, I will, I will go to vocabulary session now. Read what these students say about the languages they speak. How many languages and how many countries are mentioned? So here there are some boxes. I will let you read, and then. It's not that difficult. The reading text is easy, so let's go quickly. And what I want you to do is page number eight, page number nine, page nine, number two, page nine, number two. Find a word or a phrase in the text in exercise one, which means the same as the following. While reading, you need to find the 
similar word. For example, a little. So in the text, it says a bit of, like this. Okay, can you do it quickly? Hello, teacher. Which page? Uh, page number nine. <clears throat> page eight and nine, of course. You need to read eight. And you can do nine, two. Nine, number two. One to six. Finished. Can I check? All right. Um, wait. That's who on. A little is the same as a bit of, right? How about number two? I'll turn my, uh, I cannot send the right book yet. Vanessa, how about number two? Hello, Vanessa, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. The language of the country you were born in? Hello, can you find? Not yet. Not yet. Wait, how about Kevin? How about Kevin? I couldn't find. I couldn't find. Who wants to answer? Can I? Yes, sure. Uh, is that native language? Where do you see that information? Uh, in paragraph one. Mm -hmm. The native language of music. Yes, correct. Here, everybody, the native language, right? So the answer is native language. Okay, next, number three. Uh, you. Can you read number three? Is the name here? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Excuse me. Speaking two languages. The answer is here in this paragraph. I've already shown you the example. Like, um, yeah. This is native language. This is for number two. Can you can you catch up with the lesson? And number three, 
speaking two languages who can answer hello uh, yeah hello sir yeah i'm just uh bilingual no, see. yes you are right where do you see that information uh paragraph two paragraph two sin i knew sin i knew here bilingual yeah i am bilingual i speak japanese at home and indonesian at school do you see that two languages yeah, yeah. so it means bilingual can you follow hello are you okay hello. yes yeah. up to up to number three can you follow can you catch up with the lesson do you know the answer for one two three one is already given two and three is it okay all right let's go to number four able to use a foreign language easily priya uh, i think it's fluent yes correct where do you see that information fluent uh in paragraph two mm -hmm. i'm learning english and japanese but i'm not fluent yet yes fluent yeah so it is the same as able to use a foreign language easily correct and this time yes number five um, yes. second language can you can you read the given um what? the language you learn after your first language yes second it, the answer is a second language where do you see that what um it's in paragraph three in paragraph three yes english is my second language everybody do you see that english is my second language so the answer for number five is second language you are right to me in relation shame to me in relation number six existing no no longer existing that is extinct yes correct where do you see that information in paragraph three mm -hmm. it we still learn to do words so that it doesn't become extinct yes you are right here it doesn't become extinct so according to this extinct you should know these words now we are going to do number 4 i will go to number 4 now skip number 3 complete the sentences with all both neither and every Wait a minute. This one. There are some rules. We will work out the rules later. I want you to fill in the gaps with or, both, neither, or every. First of all, Sinanyo. Can you read number one, Sinanyo? Sinanyo. Rina. Number one. The example is already given. Sinanyo, do you know where we are? We are in number four. Yes, please. 
Read number one. Good of. Good of my parents speak English, so I hear it not at all. Hmm. My parents do. So good of. Number two. Send I you again. Try. Which word are you going to put? All or both or neither or every? I've got. I've got two English friends and. Uh, two English friends. Mm, so it must be. Neither, neither them are from London. Huh? Uh, neither is negative. But then I'm going to read the next line. They were born there. Um, both them are from London. They were born there. Yes, correct. The answer must be both of them. All right. For both here, yeah. look at look at look at the instruction. Remember to use of where necessary. You need to put of. You need to put of where necessary. So the answer must be both of them. Can you try the rest? Three to three to five. Do it. Three to five. I'll jump by. Wait a minute. I'm sending the send over send. Wait, I will try again. Uh, it's okay, teacher. Uh, I have enough. I have the book. Uh, yes. When will you receive the books? Uh, teacher, today, teacher. Today. Oh, yeah, okay. I was sent through. If you could not receive it in time, I will send it to the Bible. If I was not. My sight is big. It takes time. Finished. That's who I'm. The nine finished. Yeah, <clears throat> I want to check. Okay, number three. Eat it up. Vanessa, can you give me number three answer? Okay, I will say. My two cousins. Hello, oh, sorry. are you with me? Yeah, 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 number yes. 10. Yes, my connection is so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When two cousins live in India, but neither than has ever been to. What, what, is your, what is your answer? All, both, neither, and every. Which one did you put? Uh, neither. 
or neither of them, neither. Yeah, both are correct. Yes. As it is negative, you are supposed to put ever. Okay. And next, number four, I want to hear from Freya. Yes, I think every. Can you read? I practice. Uh, I practice my Italian every summer when I go to see my grandparents in uh, Poland now or something. Yes, it is every. All right. And that's all, number five. <clears throat> in in my job, that's the word from we start out with the people. What did you put? All. All the words. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the theory. Based on these exercises, we will work out the rules. I will let you read. Use of English, determiners, neither, each, every, all, and both. I will let you read and I will discuss together with you. Can you start reading? This one. Use both of, neither of, to talk about, to be better of things. For example, my mom. Uh, my mom speaks. Mandarin, Chinese, and my dad speak English, so I speak both of these language at home. Yes, both of. And then another one? Uh, neither of my parents speak a foreign language. Mm. So both is followed by off if necessary. Neither followed by off too. Okay, next one. Uh, I'll jump by. Can you read this one? Uh, each and every have the same meaning. Uh, every is more common than each. Yeah, every is more common. Uh, every and they are both, yeah, please. Or each time I go to visit them, I learn a bit more. Yeah, and they, they have the same meaning, but they are followed by singular noun. They are followed by singular noun. Each and every are followed by singular. Okay, let's go to this. Uh, Kevin. Yes. Kevin, use all the one. Sorry. I right. choose use all to talk about three or more people or at things. Use every to talk about individual people and Thing. Yeah, every can be used for individual people or things. And go on reading, use all. Uh, use all with a plural verb and every with sing, uh, singular verb. Mm. If you see all, you need to use plural verb, but for every, a singular verb. So you please read the example. Uh, all my lessons are in Indonesian. Every lesson is in Indonesian. <clears throat> yes. Okay, next one. Suya D. Uh, you can use you can use the my etc. after all, but not after every. Uh, all my cousins speak. Uh, all my cousins speak Italian. Not every my cousin speak Italian. You must use of after both, neither, each, and all before a pronoun. Both of us, neither of us, each of them, all of you. Okay. So these are the rules, right? So next one, let's go to reading. Teach yourself top fixing. Before you read, look at the map and answer these questions. Where exactly is Papua New Guinea? Use the following words in your an answer, north, east, in. Wait, wait. Just, I just discussed it briefly. Uh, where is Papua New Guinea? According to the map. The letter. 
Yeah, it is in Indian Ocean and north of Indonesia and east of Australia, I think. Yeah, correct. It is in Indian Ocean. Yeah, you could see Indian Ocean. And near Australia and Indonesia. All right. <clears throat> exactly, you, you can read it later. So I will go directly to reading. Read the text. What is the most surprising fact about Papua New, Papua New Guinea? Here, here is the test. I want you to read the test about this country, starting from here, two column, read quickly. Here, I want to know this information for number two. Read the text again and complete the notes. Do you see that? You are given example. The country is Papua New Guinea. I want to know capital, population, official languages, total number of languages, languages used in education. Do it. Read the test quickly and find these information. I will give you a few minutes. No need to read between the lines. You should read quickly and search for the information. That's all. I want number two only.
Can I check? So wait you a bit. To... Sorry, sorry. Will you please come? Wait, me? wait a bit, please. Oh. Okay, okay. You know, uh, you need to. <clears throat> you don't need to read each and every word, right? In the exam, you need to read with strategy. Strategy. I'm teaching you strategy. Just find out the information. Yeah, yeah. I will wait. Don't worry. Take it easy. Do it. Hello, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, do we need to do only the two, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Only two. That's why I'm asking you whether you will finish or not. Skim the test. I let you skim. That's the information. You should be finished, actually. No need to read each and every one. Just find, find the information in the paragraph. Can I check? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. So in this reading test, you, you need to find these information quickly. Yeah, the country is already mentioned. And let's go to capital. This time, uh Tasuan. Tasuan capital. Can you tell me the capital? Tasuan capital. What matter? Why yes, correct. Right. Where do you see Port Moresby? Where? Where do you see that information? Mm. First one, third line, right? Here. Yeah, the capital is. Then I knew, yeah. We need to find quickly capital. So you should find capital like that, right? The similar word. That way. Ouch. I'll jump by. I'll jump by. Is it okay? Population. I'll jump by. Where do you see that information? Sentence number two. Hmm? Okay. Paragraph one. In paragraph one. Yes. And whenever you describe the number, the data, you need to give the exact information like just over 7 million people. Just over 7 million people. That way. Just over. Right? All right. And next one, official languages. Uh, it, Vanessa. Uh, English language. Only English? Official languages, more than one. Where do you see official languages? Or language, whatever. Official language. Vanessa, where do you see official language? Here. So you should read that carefully, right? Your answer is correct, English. Besides English, the other. Do you agree that uh, the official language is only English? Any info, uh, sorry, any comment for that answer for number three? Yeah, Vanessa's answer is correct. Official language is English. Only English? 
Sorry, can you see? Yeah, 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 I can hear you. Stop pissing and three Stop pissing and three. Yes, why? Why? Why do you think it? Uh, you need to take in account these languages for official language. Why? The answer is correct. Why? The official language of Papua New Guinea is of In Papua three. I cannot say. Yes, here. Yeah. Official languages. Topics in English theory. Okay, that's one. Three languages. All right. And this time, Kevin. Kevin, next. Uh, yes. Uh, about about eight hundred language. About eight hundred. Total number of languages. Where do you see that information? Fine. Uh, the number in of first, first paragraph. Uh, you are right. The third last uh, line, right? line. Mm, about eight hundred languages. Yes, you are right. The last one, next one. Sinanyo, Sinanyo. Languages used in education. Where do you see education? Languages used in education. Talk uh, decent and English. Where? At last paragraph. Last paragraph. Yeah, you see education, so you should read there carefully. So here, English is used in secondary education. Top this thing, yes. In the first three years of primary school, all right. So according to this, the first one is top this thing and English. Okay, so we have finished for the first task. I will go further down. Everybody, let's go to number three, this one. Answer these questions. There are three questions. Just put bracket for the answer. Please find the information quickly. One, two, three, two. Why do you think there are so many languages in Papua New Guinea? What is top, top fixing? What is the difference between a first language and an official language? Put bracket for the answer.
Can I check? Are you finished? No. Okay. Do, do, do. Wait, to millions are like one. Nine on two. Millions are like to will to will. To will if you want to do with love. ปีปีก่อนกว่ากว่านานนี่หลายอย่างอะไรเงี้ยแล้วก็โดนโดนมันเพิ่มดีกว่าลงไหนพามาเอ๋ยนี่เลยอย่าลงอย่าเลยบอ
Okay, I think it is enough. There are only three questions. The first one, let's do together, right? Please check your work. Just put bracket. You don't need to write. Sume Indra Shin. Why do you think there are so many languages in Papua New Guinea? Uh, Why do you see that information? Why? Uh, most, because most communities are isolated and they have little contact with each other or with the outside world. Yes, you, your answer is correct. Where do you see that information? Tell me. Uh, in paragraph two. Yes, second paragraph. Everybody, when you read here, you could see the reason. Most communities are isolated. And then here go further. And, and have little contact with each other or with the outside world. And go on reading. It's, it's for this reason, reason that so many different languages. So according to this, the answer for number one is up to this. It is for number one. Can you follow? Okay. Let's go to number two. Sui Tong. Sui Tong, can you tell me? The second um, one. Um, pop is an, is an English based prayer. Where, where do you see that information? Um, it's in paragraph. Five. Yeah, you see top pixels, so you need to find top pixels. So here, and it is spoken by most people. You can put that information too. It is an English based prayer. Yeah. Yeah, that is for number two. And let's go to number three prayer. Uh, for number three. Number three. I think the difference the dif between a first language and an official language is for the first language, uh, is like our mother language, and the official language is the language of a country. At first, like that. Mm -hmm. okay. where, where do you see that information briefly? You can take reference. Of course, you have to keep your own answer. Uh, I think it's <clears throat> in, although English is an official language, is only spoken as a first language by a small percentage of population. Yeah, which... first language means native yeah. language, right? Yeah, yeah, native so language. You need to say a first language is a native language, and the official yeah. language means the language used in business and By the government. Government. Oh, I see. Uh, I will repeat. A first language is native language. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. an official language is the language used by the government mm -hmm. and in used by the government and in business field. In business field. All right, only three questions. Now we are going to do number four. Join these sentences using the conjunctions in italics. Yeah, although, why or where else? That one. Five, two, eight. Join these sentences using the conjunctions. Okay, in your notebook, you can join because you can change a little bit. You are given the example for number one. Although, do you know the meaning of although? Although is the same as but, but the way of using is quite different. My dad only spent a month in Australia. However, he learned a lot of English when he was three. So 
you use Odo. Odo, my, my dad only spent a month in Australia, comma. Okay. Odo, it will be a clause and you need to put comma. However, and Odo the same, so you don't need to put. You, you need to be aware of con, con, uh, punctuation mark. He learned a lot of English when he was there. Okay, Sinai Mio, can you try number two, another example? Auto geography is his favorite subject. Comma. He didn't, comma. Comma. He didn't know where Papua New Guinea was. Yes, yeah, you are right. So can you try three and four? In your notebook, you must have a notebook, okay? In your notebook, write properly. Subtitle letter, comma, I want that. Because, you know, you need to be aware of the punctuation here. Yeah. Two, three, and four. Write down page number 11, number four, although number three and number four.
Are you finished? <clears throat> That's who are. Number three, please tell me the answer. Although he is really good in the information, he has never, never been to an English speaking country. Yes. Although, although she speaks really good English, common, she has never, that is, eight years has. How about number four? The letter. Yeah, although I didn't do too, I although I didn't do much of revision, I got good marks in the tax. Mm -hmm. Let's go to why and where as. Why and where as they are the same. So you are given the example. This time, uh, Sinanyo, will you please start now? Sinanyo. Can you can you read number five? Some mm. people are good at languages. That one. Some people are good at languages. Others find it very difficult to learn another language. Mm. Parallel structure. Mm. So how are you right? Some people. Some people are good at languages, whereas others. <laughs> find it very difficult to learn another language. Yes. So how to write where as in the middle? Comma, where as, right? Comma, where as. Small letter, where as or why the same? Can you do six to eight? <clears throat> Writing practice in your notebook. I'll jump by. Number six, answer please. Uh, six. I prefer reading and writing, comma, whereas my friend likes speaking and working in groups. Yes. Vanessa, next one. Number seven. <clears throat> Hello, Kevin. Hello. Oh yeah, okay. See, I'm not finished, but I think. Mm -hmm. 
uh, English is uh but okay. English is quite easy to learn in the early stage. Why? Come on, French is quite different. Difficult. Yeah, why before why you need to put comma? Before why you need to put comma, not after why. Yeah, quite easy. You have to say that way. And next number eight, Kevin. Uh Rush Russian used the qualities of a bad uh where whereas uh comma polish uh, sorry uh alphabet comma where is polish use the roman alphabet okay wait i have noticed your mistake everybody look at the previous example yeah whereas or while how to use comma is before whereas or while not after okay just know that because these two sentences are joined with whereas or while. So you need to put comma before that. Okay. Uh, let's read the theory. Here are some rules. I will let you read and we will discuss. Tasu Ang read use of English, although why and whereas. That's all. Yeah, read. Although why and where are projection, they join clauses. Clauses. Clauses in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Although it is used to contrast two ideas with this sentence, English is an official language. However, it is only spoken as a first language by a small percentage of the population, you can join them together by in although. Mm. Although, however bad they are the same, okay. but the use of, <laughs> but they are, they are used in different ways in the sentence. They join two contrast ideas, two contrast ideas, different ideas, okay? So yeah, let's see for however first. You need to use them alternatively. English is an uh, official language, full stop. However is in capital letter. You know how to use however, full stop, however, comma, in this way. And then let's go to although button. This time, uh, you can join them. Then I mean, although. although English is an official language, it is only spoken as a first language by a small percentage of, of the, the population. population. In this case, although first clause after that, you need to put comma. Okay? They have the same meaning, but depending on the conjunction, you need to use in different ways. For however, first sentence, full stop. However, comma. But although, although, clause, comma, second sentence. Okay? Let's go to whereas and while. Vanessa, can you read whereas and while? This one. Whereas and why? Uh, to construction ideas. Example. Example. Opinion language. Opinion lang language is the one which is the why of. A mixture of two other languages. Two other languages, why is why of. What is the teacher in C-R-E-O-L-E? What is that? Creole. 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 
if you are speaking language, language, language that pidgin. has pidgin. pidgin, pidgin language that has become the mother language or mother tongue, mother tongue of a community. Community. Mm. So everybody here, whereas and why they have the similar meaning, and how to use comma, whereas or why in the middle. They are used for contrasting ideas too, different ideas. Contrasting means different ideas. So they 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 are in the middle of the two sentences, although it's mostly at the front. Sometimes it may be in the middle. It is okay. Let's go to the last part. Kevin Reed. Yeah. Uh, talkism is sometimes used in the first three years of primary school, uh, while English is used in secondary education. Mm. Yeah, comma, why or where, right? Two contrasting ideas can be used in several ways according to these rules. Any question so far? <clears throat> what do you want to know? We have discussed the, the advantages of knowing languages. I want you to do writing. Of course, it is for speaking to. You need to think at least three advantages, at least three advantages of knowing languages, know, knowing a new language. And then how you can use why it is used, it is important, all right? First paragraph, you need to think one advantage of knowing uh, why, why we should learn another language. Why we should, I, I will write. A short paragraph. In your notebook. Why we should learn a new language. All right. You can separate the paragraphs. Actually, uh, you don't need to check in. You, can, you don't need to check the information on the internet even. Because when you check uh, course book and workbook, there are a lot of information. You can read and then you can write three paragraphs. You can write, yeah, about three paragraphs, short paragraphs. So, or maybe a passage, it is okay. And that word limit, <clears throat> just about 100 words. About 100 words. No need to write a lot, about 100 words. About three or four reasons why we should learn a new language. Do you know what to do? Uh, yes, sir. Any question for this? Writing, but I will let you make presentation. Right? Oh. Next video, when we meet, and okay, I will choose some students. I want to check whether you did homework or not. Why we should learn a new language. Uh, teacher. Yeah, I'm trying to say. We have to do writing or presentation. Both. Both. I want you to write it in your notebook. All right. So you today I, I have already taught you the topic which is related to languages. And I will give you homework too from a workbook. So in workbook, there are a lot of information concerning that. You don't need to do research 
on the internet even. There are a lot of a lot of things to take reference in workbook too. So, but <clears throat> I don't want you to copy all. I don't want you to copy all. Just only the reasons why we should learn a new language. Just write on uh, when we meet the next time, I will let you present. Okay, could you please tell me what you write? Uh, you have to read. Do you know what to do? Um, well, we need to write about like 100 words about why we should learn a new language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do a, a short part of Yes. Presentation, but a short talk only, not, not, not a big presentation. You know, you are, are supposed to read your writing. Got it. That's all. I I want I want you to write because I want to give you writing practice. That's all. Just only a few words in your notebook. Maybe you can if you don't want to separate the paragraph, it's okay. Just only one passage. If you want to separate the paragraph, if you want to make it clear, it's also okay. About three or four reasons. Okay. What book? Everybody take out workbook. I want to give you homework. Those who don't who don't get the book yet, I will show I will write it out on the share screen. For workbook, page four. Page four, number one. Of course, you have to you have to Use the internet to know the information, but not a lot. At least one or two, yeah, one or two languages. It says like what? Write the languages for the countries. Look them up on the internet if you need to. So you can use the internet. I have allowed you to use the internet. And for example, you are given the example for New Zealand. Main languages: English, Maori. So at least one or two. You don't need to buy a lot. A lot of languages. Got it? Actually, when you search for the information, there are a lot, but I don't want don't know. I don't want you to take time. Just only one or two, just for knowledge, actually. This is just for knowledge that you should know. And number one, it is necessary. Number two, skip it. Number two, skip it. And number three. Number three, um, do it. The words that are related to <clears throat> the in, to language. So please do it. Number three, complete the text with the correct countries and languages. That one. And number four, circle the mistakes. Then write out the sentences correctly. It is important. So I want you to do that one, circle the mistakes, blah, blah, blah. The number is not very clear. It's just good like that. Circle the mistakes, blah, blah, blah. You need to find out the mistakes, error correction, it means. Rewrite these sentences to make them true for you. No need. Just only circle the mistakes. So just only page 14 and I'm uh, sorry. Page four and five. Page four and five in workbook. For four, number one and number two. No, sorry, number one only. Number two is not included. For three. So page four is number one only. Page five. Three and four. You don't need to do the bottom one. Like rewrite these sentences to make them true for you. No need to do that. Got it? Any question? No teacher. Okay. So I will I will stop here. So today for written work, I let you write about one hundred words 
on this topic. And I will let you read out your answer, right? Why we should learn a new language. And then the second thing in workbook, the necessary lessons that you are supposed to practice. Only these. All right? Yeah, I'll, sure. I'll, Can I okay, do something? Uh, I can find this in workbook. Oh. Workbook? Uh, can you tell me which book? Yeah, I will show you. Have you got it? Uh, your way. Uh, okay, I got it. Mm, that one, that one. The thin one. What? Thinner than the ghost book. Okay, I will stop here. Bye bye, everyone. See you. Bye bye. Thank you, Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.